and welcome to my brand new video. Today I want to show you my Wallstein collection. Now I know this is kind of a weird film, I don't really know if people have done this before, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see pictures in the background, but I'm obsessed with my wall. I love my wall very much. Oh my goodness, I just realised my wall looks really naked and better without my wall signs. But yeah, I have these wall signs and quotes and inspirational crap and I just love them stuff and I want to continue collecting them and make my wall more and more and more and I just love wall signs. So today I wanted to share with you guys and just talk over them and what I think of these signs and whatever. And I thought it'd be a nice video to film and I'm finally filming it. And well, I mean this part of the wall is fine because I only put pictures in this bit. Well two pictures have fallen down if you might be able to see. But the rest of the walls and yeah, so I'm well saying, yeah, it looks naked. But anyway, I'm going to get into this video and I hope you guys enjoy this and tell me your favourite quote or whatever from this video. So this is no particular order, it's just, but all sit next to me. First of all, is this one, and this is a scripture from the Bible saying, But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother, from Proverbs chapter 18, verses 23. And my friend made this for me, and I'm so, so grateful because I love scriptures, and I always the scriptures have very valuable sayings and good lessons and everything in them, and I love scriptures. And it really means a lot to me because it just makes it more personal, and the fact that the scriptures also relate into our friendship as well just makes it that much more special, and I love it. And I really want to have more kind of scriptural things on my walls, but I don't know if I can get stuff like that, and it is quite expensive, like canvases with scriptures on, like, you know, JW websites that I've been on, but hopefully. Hopefully I can venture more to get some more scripture kind of things in my wall soon. But I absolutely love this and it's so beautifully designed, beautifully designed and you would never guess that it was handmade and it doesn't even matter because I just love it and it's my favourite wall and so it has to be because, you know, yes, the true meaning behind it. Okay, next one, I love this wall sign very much. I think this is from Penland. A lot of these are cheap ones by the way. We're from like Penland and BMs and I got some from London, I can't remember the stall, but they're all cheap ones, you know, that you can just find anywhere. But this one is very true and very very like I love this saying like this is very true let your smell change the world but don't let the world change your smell okay guys let your smell mean something let your smell make other people happy and lift them up and boost them into a good mood make a difference be a happy positive bubbly little energy thing in the world and make a positive impact on people's life but don't let the sadnesses of the world or people in the world who are trying to bring you down or anything here the, the negatives change your smell into a friend don't let mental or things or whatever bring you down your best to be motivated and up and positive and you know let your smell change the world but don't let the world change your smell and so true we need to keep this in mind and we've got to be a positive influence but we can't let others drag us down who want to see us fail or if it's just some things that are happening fast you know we've got to be as positive as you can be in situations and you know i love this saying because very very true at least my first change the world the first smell oh my gosh guys breaking news i love it very much and i should like look these up look at the quotes and then put wall signs at the end and then look up on amazon like look up let your smell change the world wall sign on amazon or something i don't know and get these kind of things if you're like into that because and having these quotations on your wall it just makes you happy like looking at them and just reminding yourself of these things this is enjoy the little things and i think it's really cute because it's like a little glass wall sign and i'm very shocked to myself that i have not yet broken this and it's not shattered on the ground it's freaking dusty wood it's dusty but it is a cute little white glass wall sign it's very cutely designed it's very cute and little small and it's like enjoy the little things because you know we need to enjoy the little things in life if it's made up of a small moment and big moments and we have to appreciate each one of us to come because we're both equally as important and yeah it's very cute and it's like a little scene on my wall i really like it so yeah oh this is a good one i love this one it's from home bargains so it's like 80 pence or something Good food and good friends. That is all we generally need in life and good sleep. But no, seriously, if you have good food and good friends, then you're set for life. You're like going where you need to go. Like it's a good thing. And someone, probably one of my sisters, coloured this in with this with pink bits of pencil. So I tried to rub it out and it's went pink. So I don't even know. But um, yes, I love this sign. Oldie but goodie. Yes, I do very much appreciate this sign. It's a really cute wall sign. I got in London. I don't know what store it was from. Probably one of those hardware, like B and M, like homeware kind of stores. This one is really cute, the way it's designed, I absolutely love it. Oh, it's two pounds, it's two pounds, uh, you know, me. Why do I never take labels for things? The amount of times that people have said to me, Natalie, the label saw on that, mm, I don't know. I love this because, okay, I'm gonna just take the label off now. Okay, I'll tell you. But I love this because, first of all, look at the bow. Like, look at how the bow is just like, tied together in this beautiful grey Hanon thing, and how the grey goes with the writing, and how the colour scheme all fits together perfectly. All you need is sleep. This is all you need guys, this is all you need in life, like, just go away from the video now, you've got your life lesson today, it's all good, you know what, this is seriously all we need in life is good sleep, and so very true, I never ever sleep, so I, yeah, I need to sleep, yeah, I need to sleep more, but basically, 
very true and I love how cute this is and this is the pattern of the outside of the love heart of like the blue and then the white rosy flowery looking intricate detail and yeah I think this is beautifully designed with this bow intact and also a lovely scene and I also have another coat on my wall that looks exactly like it's been made with this like we are both made in the same iron class for a design person or whatever but I bought them separately I bought this on B&M's for like £1.99 because you know I just don't take the fines but look do all things with love and look at this look how beautiful this is for look the roses on this butterfly with this outside of the love heart match if you can see what I'm talking about and then the grey writing and the blue and you know you can see how this matches you can see okay well let's put that down now because we talked about that one but this one this is beautiful because look it spins it's spinny it's look we're, we're two cents joined together as one that is like really radical guys that is so rad guys okay do all things with love and yes do everything with love guys do it with love and happiness and yes and love and life do things with love and motivation and power and dedication and just with every part of your being as a joke i'm going over top i'm lazy i sleep all the time i don't do anything but full scene on a beautiful background both butterflies and then we've got butterflies around here the love is emphasised with the different font and the blue writing and then we have the blue continued in here with little flowers on it and it's so cute and beautiful and it's red and it's beautiful this is beautiful and do all kinds of love guys do all kinds of love you know i feel like i should just make this into a positive video of like positive thoughts of a day and then it's just me showing you my wall signs because honestly now i feel more positive now i feel more happy like yeah guys we've got to let our smell impact people and we've got to just do everything with love so this one is a little one i saw this in the shop and i recognized it as a scripture straight away from like first corinthians 4 10 no okay i'm gonna anyway so where's the scripture where it is so i'm like where you can find this but i recognize this from a scripture but the scripture was wrong when I looked at the Bible later on. I bought it because I was really excited because I was like, oh, you get a scripture, a scripture on a wall sign. Look at it. Look how cute it is. Look at it. It's basically love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. We got to be put in. It's actually fails. That's the right scripture, guys. I had to rewrite that because that was a fail, right and fail. So. But love never fails and this is a scripture from the bible so it's like yes i'm gonna get it and just make it correct and it's just like a little cute thing that i keep on a ball with my wall so yes it's um so wrong but it's okay because it's cool that i have a little scripture here and it's correct it. it's cool it's cool you can see i'm really not artistic like yeah really like really but yeah Anyway, moving on. Move on. to you back up now. Just another mistake. Why was I sitting here moving? Why did you make? Wish I could tell you what I'm thinking. Maybe we're the Titanic. Can we slowly sink? I'm so predictable. Oh, you're so predictable. You just want to predict. Anyway, like, have you get me somewhere? <laughs> right. Anyway, this one. Um, this is really like a little bit like under my wall it looks good but it's like mm, i got it because it seemed like pulley beans and rice this is from b and for like one pound ninety nine as well so this is three different sayings down some canvases but um and it looks like in high school you get those like thick yellow microscope microscope things and you put the slides underneath each one and you look at each one in town in biology and like the slide the slide the film, the film paper, film paper kind of thing that you put underneath. Yeah, this reminds me of that. I don't know why, it just kind of has little looks like that kind of thing going on. But basically, the first one says, Tis the start of something wonderful. And it has some butterflies and blah blah blah. Today is your day. Anything is possible, anything is cool when you put no, Okay, anyway, anything is possible. Like this, I don't know, but I feel like the writing's too small. And then the backgrounds are nice, but I feel like it's too like fancy almost for me. I don't know. To my will. But I got it because it was a sign that was cheap and it looked nice, kind of thing. Sayings. Too, not generic for me, but I like, I guess I like more personal s statements also. Like, I know do the sleep isn't exactly a hard hit at home, but you know, I don't know. I like it a lot, but it's too, like, glossy looking almost. Like, I don't know. I don't have to explain it, but. Ow! I just, like, I pulled it over my mouth. Ow. <sighs> Prayer sessions with Natalie Smith. I don't know why, a lot of times on Instagram I ramble on about a bunch of positivity crap. I don't know if I should just make like, more positivity videos on my YouTube channel, but I don't know if I'm like intelligent enough to be like sane. But you know, at the same time, we should always share our opinions. So yeah. This one I didn't really like too much. It's from London again, it's 1.50. I didn't like this one too much because like it's not the prettiest thing, but it is, well it is, but it's cause it looks like a thing you put in your kitchen wall or something, first of all, like you put in your kitchen or something. It's a design. And second of all, like like a place oh yeah, it looks like a placemat. What the heck? It looks like a legitimate 
Oh no, that just ruined it for me. Now I remember it as a placemat. This is ruined. Like I just don't like this sign anymore, guys. Cause look, look at how the white of the background of this quote is kind of curving up the edges before it reaches the flowers. Like, are you being serious? That just puts me off completely. Like, why does it even have to have a visible curve? Why couldn't it just flow off into the flowers instead of like a curve being there? Like, seriously. I mean, don't follow your dreams, chase them. Yes, yeah, true, but at the same time, I wish this scene was more, once again, kind of more detailed in a way, more specific. Not as a generic, don't follow your dreams, chase them. Like, yeah, I agree with that plus overall statement. There was a lot of more ways to word this kind of saying that I would have preferred in a way. You don't follow your dreams, chase them. Like, was, was, like, this is a good scene and I agree with this overall statement, but there's a bunch of other ways to say it. It was cheap and yeah, so. A lot of cheap wall scenes, but I generally don't get wall statements that I don't really. 100% I'm passionate about like yes I agree with it because I don't want to just put loads and loads of loads of wall signs in my wall if they don't mean really that much to me I'm thinking more about quality not quantity so maybe I shouldn't have got the dreams one and I maybe shouldn't, I shouldn't have got this one to be honest but really I honestly do I only really generally do get wall signs if I 100% like yes or you just quote I love this quote kind of thing because I just don't want a bunch of crap on my wall. Like, oh yeah, loads of cheap wall signs. Woohoo, let's get all of them, but we don't mean anything. Actually, a freaking photo frame, which I didn't even realise until I took it home, but it's on my wall anyway. It's got that from my wall. I was just from the Penland Valentine's Day section, but I was like, this is cute and a nice scene from my wall. I like it. it's like all Freddy, kind of. So, life is short, break the rules, forget quickly, kiss slowly, love, it, love truly, laugh uncontrollably, love hard. And I thought, you know, it's not really about love exactly it's just about living life kind of thing it's like a cute one of those tumblr scenes i thought yeah it's cute i'm gonna put it on my wall so i'm not gonna put it as a <laughs> like a photo frame like oh do you remember my graduation day like yeah like i'm so proud of myself and no um it's on my wall and it's like all nice and pretty and it's kind of different like i guess it doesn't really want a theme of like like i don't really have a theme with my wall signs i just skip them if i like the quote kind of thing this wall sign i'm 100 straight away i knew i had to have it i agree 100 with this quote i love it i stand by this quote kind of thing like these are the wall signs i should be getting all the time and this is a wall sign from the works by the way the freaking works and it's all chalkboardy and heavy life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass it's about learning how to dance in the rain i mean that is so true i've heard a lot of scenes about you know the storm it's gonna pass it's the storm going to pass and that's very true you know the rough times in life Sometimes we can't see the, the end of it. We feel like the sunshine's never going to come out. But the storm is going to pass. You know what? It's going to pass. Most kind of things like, yes. But this is more of like, make the most of the situation. Try to find the happiness in it, you know. Yes, don't wait for the storm to pass. Don't wait for it to pass. You've got to learn how to make the best of situations and learn and love and dance and be. You know, I guess sometimes it is hard to be happy and like, you know, I can't downplay feelings. But I mean like, making the most of the situation, even when it's really hard, like, don't wait for the storm to pass. Don't, you know, just survive your days. Make the most of it kind of thing. And I can't want to go too deep into that because I know most things are easier said than done. People different situations and stuff like that. But I love this saying and 100% yes. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. And guys, I hope you guys remember this for when you're feeling down because my goodness, this is so inspirational. That is my video. That is my wall since I really hope you guys got some inspirational positivity and you guys might think, oh wait, this is... Because I've been talking about these quotes and kind of interpreting them. But you guys might think, oh, but that's not really what the quotes are about Natalie. Do you not understand kind of thing? But that's the way I've kind of picked up from the quotes. And that's the way I'm viewing these quotes in a way. So, share your thoughts down below on these. Like, any more positivity quotes you, you guys? Positivity. Let's have some positivity comments. Like, any positive thoughts you can share with us. I wish a great quote from here. And, yeah, I hope you guys got some inspiration from this video in a way, I guess. And maybe you'll consider putting walls into you all. Who knows? But... Yes, I hope this has been a nice, enjoyable video for you to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Have a good day. See you later. Bye. Focus on, focus on me, 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 me,